Welcome back to the channel guys, tool reviews of tools I use. Today I'm going to take you through the pencils that I've bought very recently. I've decided to kit out all of my tool bags with uh, th these sort of carpenters pencils that you see in front of you. I'm deciding I'm not really going to have much of a use for these anymore. I think these have been far superseded by much better options. I've been using this Halter Falls pencil uh, for a long time now and I absolutely love it. And I just wanted to see what was out there, so I figured I'd buy a whole load uh, of different ones, and you can all uh, evaluate them yourselves. Now, this is the only one I've got experience of, and I absolutely can't can't speak highly enough for this. The design of this is fantastic. I'll go through some of its best features in a second, but it, it'll just be nice to unpackage the other ones that you can see above, and just see how they stack up to what I'm uh, used to using. So. I'll start off with this, just a quick review. Um, the the Holter Force pencil, so it comes in a really nice sheath. And what I like about this is it's kind of a little bit oversized, so that when, you, when you're when you hanging it on your uh, pocket, when you want to go and drop that in, it just slots in really, really nice and easy. You don't have to locate it especially, it's not too tight a fit. But then once it goes in, it just stays in. I can shake it upside down and it's not going anywhere. Very secure. It's got these nice little teeth on the belt clip that you can see. So, or, or you can have it on your belt clip belt, or you can have it on your pocket. What I tend to do is have the body of the the sheath inside my pocket and just the clip hanging out. That seems to work really, really well for me. Uh, you see, it's got a little pencil sharpener just here, which just you can just sharpen your pencil like that. And uh, and just shake it without ha actually having to take the sheath out of your pocket or anything. It's just it's just a setup that really works well. Um, but yeah, th it, the mechanism seems to work really well. I've got absolutely no complaints about this. It's been worth every penny. The the holder for the leads is really nicely made. Nice tough plastic. You see, it's got a little blank portion there, and you just spin it round, and then it just slides out nicely. I will say with both of these, with with the case and with the actual pencil itself, I've dropped them on multiple occasions on really hard surfaces, and I thought, oh god, that's it, they're, they're, it's going to be broken now, and it hasn't. It's been really, really heavy duty, tough. The leads don't seem to break even when they're rattling around in here. They're really quite tight in there, so uh, the cases seem to take most of the shock. So absolutely brilliant buy this has been. So let's see how these other ones stack up to it. I've got this little scientific board here that you can see. So I've got a piece of wood on the right of the plywood and I've, st I've stapled a, a bit of paper to the left so you can just see how nicely they mark. A pencil's a pencil, but let me tell you, this marks really well, whether it's on paper, whether it's on wood, it just, it's great. It works exactly, exactly as it should. So let's have a look at the peaker. Let's take a look at this. So I've already opened them up. I've split them just at the back, but this is how it's going to arrive. I can't remember how the Holter Fours arrived. It was such a long time ago that I bought it. I can't remember what sort of packet it came in. But yeah, there's the peaker there. Feels nice and weighty, nice and strong. I've noticed it's got the, the pencil sharpener at the bottom. And uh, yeah, as I said with the halter fours, I would have the halter fours hanging out of my, just the clip hanging out of my pocket. So in order for me to do that, I would have to take this out, do the sharp, uh, do the sharpening, and then pour it, and then put it back in my belt. I assume that's how that works. That would probably drive me a little bit crazy. But the quality is really, really nice. The plastic feels really nice and thick. I'd say it feels a similar sort of weight to the halter fours. Maybe it's maybe just a touch heavier the whole setup, only a touch, but the plastic feels nice and thick. It's got a very sort of grippy action when you push it in and slots in, not going anywhere. Nice grippy teeth on the clip. Clip doesn't feel like it's going to break, and that's where you put the leads in there. So you're top loading the leads. Yeah, that's nice, and then, yeah. So you push the button down to extend it, just like the holster fours. Yeah, 
yeah very nice nice mechanism on it feels really really smooth and again it's good size for the sheath that you can just drop it in yeah i like that that's very nice these are both about the same price the peak around the holes falls not a massive difference uh, until I actually get some real use out of it I'm not sure which one I'm going to prefer uh, the fact that this is round bothers me a little bit oh it has got a little dimple that sticks out on it oh, there you go so it won't roll too far it's got a little tiny notch just there I've just noticed because that's, that's a big bugbear of mine with something like a pencil I'm always resting it on on skinny little work surfaces where there's not a lot of space sometimes I've got tools everywhere and if I rest it on there and it rolls off it'll just drive me crazy but that seems to have alleviated that that's pretty good no nice grip on it yeah no complaints with that i'd be very happy if that was my only one let's see how it writes yeah it feels much the same it feels like the lead's a little bit harder on this but I can't tell if that's because it's a, a new lead and it's got a real point on it. But yeah, it does feel a little bit harder. But good quality. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some use in with that. Uh, the lead case itself. I think to how, let's see how it compares. Right, so I've got to take that off. Let's see. And, oh, there you go. Oh, so it's got that... Oh, I hate that stuff. So it's got that folded plastic there, which you just know is going to break after a while. And and if I open it up, yeah, all the leads, hopefully they don't all fall out at once, but yeah, you just take it, slide it out there. That's the setup. That's not bad. The plastic feels reasonably tough, but I, I, I hate that stuff there. I always feel like it's going to snap in no time, probably before what I use up all the leads, but... It is what it is. It'll sit in the bottom of the toolbox okay. I think I prefer this style of setup though. It just feels a little bit stronger. I feel like I can just rattle it around with my tools a little bit better, but that shouldn't get in the way at the bottom of my toolbox. So that's the Pika. Let's see this one. So this one's a totally new one on me. It's, it was, a, I suppose, a, a bit more of a budget tool. Let's have a look at it in the packet. You get a little... Uh, level with it just like a little cheap level thing and at first glance I can see it doesn't come with a sheath it comes with about six leads with it but no sheath I'll be honest I think I would have rather had a sheath than uh, sort of a level like this uh, I wonder if it's even accurate who knows um, but anyway the stuck a little gift or something with that one uh, this one comes with six leads We've got this bit on the end here, which I believe pulls off. There you go. So it's similar to the other design of the other ones. This is called the Thorvald pencil. So very similar design in that, but you've just got a reasonably kind of... It feels like it's just plastic. I don't know if it's rubber. No, it's just plastic. But that's a comfort grip that it's got. Oh, clips on nice and strong. And it feels much like a, a normal pen, a uh, triangular profile to it. Feels comfortable in the hand. Let's see what the lead's like. Yeah, I'd say similar to the Pika, but again, it might be because it's a nice uh, new lead. Yeah, pretty firm lead. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad for the quality. The plastic, I, I thought was going to be a bit cheap and nasty, but the plastic seems pretty strong. Uh, the clip, I don't know. I don't know if that will last quite as long as a Pika. You compare that. Look at the thickness of them. Very different. I think it's going to have to be a win for the Pika and the, and the Halter Falls for that matter. Yeah, it's a little bit... A little bit stronger feeling. This feels like a, a, a cheapish pen uh, for the clip. Probably going to break that if you stick it on your belt or your pocket after a while. Uh, the mechanism. It's got a nice firm click. Yeah, it feels like a good strong click. 
yeah it's not a bad buy it's a budget pen pencil I can't complain too much at that it was a lot cheaper than these ones so it does actually feel pretty good value for the for the small amount of money I paid uh, I think it was maybe came in about a third of the price cheaper than than the Pika and the Holt for so it's not too bad the leads we can have a look see how how we open those oh there you go so they're sliding out so the whole thing slides and you can and if I just take that tape off I can I can remove them like that that's not a bad design actually and again that'll sit nicely in the toolbox quite skinny reasonably happy with that not bad at all if they just beef up that clip then uh, then initial reviews I think would be pretty good but yeah quite happy with that so this one onto the tracer this was one of the ones I was deciding whether to get versus the Holter Fours and the Pico at the time. This was one of the options. And uh, at first glance, when it turned up in the packaging, I was pretty happy with it. It looks good. I like the leads. We'll come back to those in a second, but I really like the look of those. Okay, it's got a sheath, which is good. That's a, f Ooh, that's a funny old mech. Right, so you push it in, it clips. I don't know if it's the... Oh, it's not the clip that's holding it. It's the actual... It's got a little grippy surface inside and the clip just seems to just give a little bit of additional grip. Again, the, the clip the clip is very flimsy. That's a shame. It's even more flimsy than the Thorvald when you look at it. And again, I'll hold it up next to the Pika and you can see how that compares. Yeah, let themselves down a little bit on that one. But let's see how this actually draws. I will say straight out the box the lead feels really nice actually. I'd say that the lead feels a bit more like the Holter Fours, a little bit softer, still nice and sharp. But yeah, I'd say the lead feels a little bit softer than the Pika and the Thorvald and more in line with the Holter Fours. It's easy to get it in the sheath, it's got a nice grippy bit there. Yeah, that clip's a little bit better. Oh, that's yeah, that's probably a bit more fair actually. I should probably f compare this clip. There you go to the Pika one there. Okay, I'll take some of that back then. So the pen clip is rubbish, but the the actual pocket clip looks reasonably strong, and you can see that's where the pencil sharpener is. So if I can just stick that in there, and obviously you just pop it down a little bit. Get it in there. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad at all, that. Oh, right, yes, I'll definitely take that back. Nice and strong. That feels like that's going to go on your pocket, okay. Again, I'd still give a little bit more credit to Pika. It does feel a bit more robust than when I'm pulling on this one, but not as bad as the actual pencil itself. Nice bit of kit, though. I'm pretty happy with that. That's quite nice. Yeah, mechanism wise, it's not got as positive a clip as the Thor valve. It does feel very like the Pika's and the uh, Halter Fours. They all seem to have this same uh, barrel on the end of them. They look almost exact. You can see the trace is just a little bit more pointy. Just a touch. Yeah, I don't feel too ripped off by that for the price. I think that was that was a pretty good one. It looks great. I think the design's really nice. It's really feels really nice in the hand. Nice grippy surface. Yeah, very happy with that. As for the leads themselves, let's have a look at this. So it's more in line with the Hulse Fours. So I'll hold the two of those up together. And you see the clips. Now, I can't imagine anyone's going to clip these to their belts or their uh, pockets or trousers or anything like that. But where this can come in useful is if you've got a tool bag or something, then you might want to clip these onto the pouches. 
Um, that's about all I could imagine I, was, I would use it. But I think I'd, I'd actually give, I actually prefer the tracer in terms of the size of it. I don't want to be carrying this bulk. And you see the, can you see the wasted space on the inside? I don't know if that has any purpose. I've tried looking for it and thinking what it could be, but I think it was just the way it was designed. I'd rather be carrying this skinnier one on the right with of the tracer than I would the halter fours, but they both feel really well made. Let's have a look at them, see how these come out. Okay, so it's you can just see the plastic there where the hole is. Drop them out, it drops out nice and easy. Yeah, feels good. And then it just should have just a little blank space. There you go. That I can put it into. They rattle around. If, Okay, they rattle around in the tracer a lot more than they do in the halter fours. So that's a win for the halter fours there. But I wish I had the size of, of this rather than the halter fours. Still, uh, yeah. Tracer, that's that's worth buying. Let's have a look at the ox. Pretty excited to look at this one, actually. I've been wanting one of these ones for a while. I will say I've always hated the colour of ox tools. All their tools are the same colour. I can't stand it. Maybe it's just because I'm a bit older. Uh, but it, it just screams out too much colour for me. I prefer like primary colours or, or, the, or at the most something like this. But I, I don't like this kind of electric blue colour. But that's neither here nor there. It's, it's a tool. So let's see what it's like. Okay, the design of it. I do like the shape of it. That's, what, that's a real bonus. Clip feels nice and strong. Let's compare it to probably the, the next one. Yeah, so it's compared to the Pika, it does feel pretty strong. It's got a lot of flex on that portion there. I don't know if it'll last as long as the Pika feels that it's it's got the, the advantage on that one. Now these little LEDs here, this isn't the fairest review because I didn't buy the the one that came with a full box of LEDs for this. So, but from looking at it, when I was checking them out online, the Ox ones came with a packet very similar to this. So. Make of that what you will. But this isn't a bad little setup, just chucking a few of these in your box. That's not too bad. It's pretty good for the price. Uh, let's have a look at these. Okay, so it's a nice mechanism. Feels, I'd say it feels a bit more like the Halter Fours. In comparison, let's have a look how it draws. Hope you guys can see that. Yeah. Not bad at all. Feels pretty good lead. You see how nicely it draws. All of these pe pencils draw on the wood. You're just not affected by it. The sheaths, even though it's a square shape, so it accepts it in all different directions, which is good. So you don't want to be looking to try and get it straight. That seems to be okay. The one thing I thought would bother me, but only time will tell, is having these holes there. I don't know why they did that. I know it looks good because you can see the brand, but I don't know if after a little bit of use and I'm just in a bit of a rush and I drop it down, if it's going to pop into it like that and get caught and just annoy me. I don't know if that's going to be a bugbear in time, but only time will tell. It's a shame I haven't really had the time to use these before showing you them, but but the actual tool itself feels really nice. The pencil itself is it's good quality. The plastic's nice and, nice and thick and strong. And the pencil's got that nice square shape, so it's not going to roll. It's very good. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty pretty damn nice. The leads themselves, the ones that come with this free pack, just pop them out like that. And that... That tube feels robust enough that I could throw that in a toolbox and it's not going to break or get damaged. So, yeah, all in all, I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'll uh, I'll let you know how it goes in time. And if you've got any opinions on your, of your own on these, then drop them in the comments below. But I am pretty happy with all of those purchases. I don't think any of them are going to be particularly bad. Uh, but only time will tell. Okay, if you like the uh, video, then like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.